Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about how to create an encrypted disk image using BitLocker. Now, most people think of BitLocker, if they think of it at all, as a way to encrypt or lock your entire hard drive so that if somebody steals your computer, they can't get at that, your sensitive information. It can definitely do that, but what most people may not be aware of is there's a way to create a disk image or a virtual hard drive that basically acts like a separate disk drive on your computer and gives you an extra secure place to store sensitive information. If you're familiar with an application called TrueCrypt, that used to be the standard way to do that, but the TrueCrypt project has been discontinued, so BitLocker is an alternative. So it's a little technical to set up, but I'll take you through it. Just bear with me. I'm showing Windows 8.1 right now. If you use a different version of Windows, you can still do this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in Windows 8.1. The steps are pretty similar. So what we need to do first is create something called a virtual hard drive. And the way we can do that is on our desktop in Windows 8.1, right click on the start button and go to disk management. If you're at your Windows start screen in Windows 8, you can hit Window key and X and do the same thing. So you hear, see here we've got our disk management screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our hard drive and then we're going to go Action, Create VHD. And that VHD stands for Virtual Hard Drive. And so we're gonna give it some options here. And the first thing we need to do is tell it where we want this hard drive to go. So I'm just gonna put it in my documents folder. You can put it wherever you want. And I'm gonna give it a name of secret. Of course, you can call it whatever you'd like and hit save. So you can see I'm creating this file in my documents folder and I'm calling it secret. And you want to give it a size, and you want to give that size large enough to hold your documents. I'm going to create a one gigabyte virtual hard drive. You can create it larger or smaller as you need. You have some options here. Uh, from what I, the reading I've been doing, it, most people recommend fixed size. That seems to be the best. But if you really want to, you can create dynamically expanding, which means it will start small and grow as you add files. Uh, I think it's better, and from what I've read, it's better to keep it at fixed size. So we're going to hit OK. And you can see it's creating our virtual disk for us. And it's at 88%. And now you can see here, we now have this extra section down here with an unknown, not initialized, one gigabyte disk. So that's exactly what we want, so that's great. So the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize it. So we're gonna right click on where it says disk one there. It might, it might have a different name for you, but for me it's called disk one, and we're gonna choose initialize disk. And this is just asking us how we want to create it. Now the important part is this part. part. You have two choices, master boot record or GUID partition table. If you're on Windows 8 or 8.1, you're going to want to choose the second one, GPT. The, if you're on Windows 7, you'll have to choose master boot record. The only exception to what I just said is if you want to be able to open this disk image on a Windows 7 computer, so for example, you're creating it on Windows 8, but you want to be able to open it on a Windows 7 computer, you're going to want to choose MBR. Otherwise, if you're on Windows 8, choose GPT and just hit OK. So we've initialized it. You can see here it says online, which is great. So now what we need to do is we need to create a new volume, it's called. So click on this area here where it says unallocated. Right click again and go new simple volume. And it's going to take you through a wizard. So we're just going to hit next. This you can leave at, at the default because we're not going to be creating different different volumes inside our thing. So we can just hit the default there. You can give it a drive letter. I'm going to leave it at the default of D, but if you really want, you can change that to something else. 
and we want to format it. I'm just leaving it at the default. I'm going to give it a new name though. I don't want it to be called new volume. I'll, I'll call it private stuff. And we'll just leave quick format alone and we'll hit next. And it's going to, and we're going to hit finish. And it's formatting. So that's going to take a second. And you can see now it's opened up a D drive called private stuff. So we've created our virtual hard drive. This is an extra area carved out of our, of our hard drive just for our private stuff. But we're not quite done yet. The reason why is because while we've created this drive, it's not encrypted. So we haven't made it super secure yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this PC and I'm going to right click on my D drive here. And what we want to do is we want to choose turn on BitLocker. If you don't see this option, I should have mentioned it at the, at the top, but if you don't see this option, it's because you need to be using Windows 8 Pro. The regular Windows 8 Home does not have BitLocker, unfortunately. You can upgrade if you want to through the Microsoft Store. Uh, and if you're on Windows 7, only Windows 7 Ultimate has this ability. So I'm going to choose Turn on BitLocker. And you're going to want to use a secure password, of course. You, it doesn't make much sense to, to go to the trouble of encrypting your drive and just making a password password or something like that. Um, you want to give it an, a secure password. And we're going to go next. This is really important. First of all, you do not want to forget your secure password. But more importantly than that, if something happens and you do forget or you need to be able to mount this some other way, you they have something called a recovery key. So you'll want to save it somewhere like a flash drive, print it out somewhere totally separate from your computer. Just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to choose save to a file on the computer and it's going to tell me not to do that in a second. You don't want to do that. You want to save this file somewhere kept separately from your computer in case something ever happens to it. Even better, you probably want to print it. I'm just, just for this video, I'm going to do save to a file. And I'm just going to save it to my documents folder. But you'll want to save it some, somewhere better. And you can see it's warning me that it defeats the purpose to save your recovery key on the computer. So take that warning, even though I'm not in this video. All right, so we've saved our recovery key, very important. And we're going to hit next and it says are you ready to encrypt it yes we are and we're going to start encrypting and how long this takes depends on uh, how big your encryption is mine's done already so awesome we've got our d drive it's encrypted but and i'm just going to copy some files into it now so just pause while i do that okay so We've got our files in our secret D drive. This is our private stuff. But if somebody were to come, walk up to this computer while I'm away from it, let's say, they would still be able to access my stuff because I have the drive unlocked. So what we want to do when we're done working with our documents, we want to lock it up like you would locking up a safe. So to do that, you right click on your drive and you choose eject. And now when we go back to Windows Explorer, you can see here that our D drive is gone. And the reason why is because we've ejected the drive. So the drive is completely gone. If somebody were to get access to our computer, they would not be able to access the files on those D drive. To access them again, what we want to do is we want to go to our documents folder and remember way at the beginning of this video, we created a new virtual hard drive called secret. And you can see we have it here. So to open it up again, all we do is we can just double click on that virtual hard drive 
it's telling us the drive is BitLocker protected, so we'll click there. We have to put in our password. Hopefully I remember it. And you can see now it's mounted it, the technical term is mounted, and unlocked it, and we can get at our files again. So that is how to create an encrypted virtual hard drive with BitLocker. It might be an option for you if you have a computer that you want to keep certain files extra secure and in one place. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have a bunch of other videos as well. Thank you so much.